Well, we start this hour with breaking news. There has been a surprising political shakeup in Prince Edward Island. The province's premier, Robert Giz, says he is resigning. Giz has led PEI for eight years. Today, though, he announced that he is stepping down as soon as the Liberals elect a new leader. Giz says he has no immediate plans besides spending time with his family. And when asked if he is stepping down to run federally for the Liberals, Giz responded that he won't rule it out, saying he is a friend and a fan of Justin Trudeau. So let's get more on this breaking news. And as we said, uh, Robert Gibbs announcing he is resigning. Wayne Thibodeau joins us right now. He's the news editor of The Guardian in Charlottetown. And Wayne, you were there for the announcement? Yes, I was, Jacqueline. We started off today like any or ordinary day. It was supposed to be the first question period of the fall session. But just over the lunch hour, we received a notification from the Premier's office of an important announcement that was going to be taking place at 1 o'clock. And as you said, uh, a, sh a shock and a surprise to everybody that Premier Robert Giz announced his resignation. In fact, his own caucus colleagues only found out about 15 minutes before the rest of the public found out that he was leaving politics. So, Wayne, what's behind this surprise resignation then? Well, it definitely came as a surprise. Now, Robert Giz did say during the news conference that he has been premier. Surprisingly, uh, Robert Giz uh, was elected premier when he was 33 years old. He's 40 years old now, so that's not a very old man. But he is Canada's longest-serving premier. Um, he was quite a controversial um, leader when he came in because he was so young, but ended up sweeping the power, taking all but... Uh, three seats in the legislature. So he said basically he's done his time. He had promised the people of Prince Edward Island that he would serve about 10 years. He served 12 years as leader, eight years. So he says it's time to go. But now, to be fair, I think there may be a little bit more to the story. As you said, first of all, he's doing this on the first day of the fall session. So he's leaving the party in a bit of a scramble to find a new leader. And more so, that question when he was asked about potential federal aspirations, his answer was very interesting because he did rule out running federally, and there is no availability, uh, there is no federal liberal seat on Prince Edward Island available for him to run in yet. Now, that, of course, could change. He did say he wanted to spend some time with his family, but he also said he's very good friends with Mr. Trudeau, and he wouldn't rule out some sort of role with Mr. Trudeau's campaign team or with Mr. Trudeau's team in Ottawa. So I think there is a federal role for him coming up, even if we don't know what it is yet. No, but what is some of the speculation? Can you touch on that a little further, Wayne? Well, at this point, we don't have a lot of speculation because it's only been an hour yeah. since the announcement. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, I think for sure, um, I don't anticipate that Mr. Giz is going to run uh, both him and his wife. His wife is an emergency room physician. Uh, since coming into politics, they now have three very young children. So I know the Premier has told me on a number of occasions that while he has an interest in running federally, now is not the time. So I don't anticipate you're going to see him on the ballot, but I do expect that you will see him play a role. Um, what some of the speculation was prior to that, there had been some requests made that he may be involved as a campaign chair for Atlantic Canada or some involvement mm. in the next election federally. He does have federal experience. He was special assistant to Prime Minister Jean Petit, responsible for Atlantic Canada, and he worked in Sheila Kopp's office, also as a special assistant when she was her heritage minister. And as I said, he now is Canada's longest serving premier, although not for much longer. In fact, the party seems to want to move very quickly on this. The suggestion that we're hearing is that the party could elect a new leader as early as January. The other thing that you may find a bit interesting, that I did anyway, is after we made the announcement, we asked, okay, are you going to still represent your district, District 13, which is um, here in, in the heart of Charlottetown? And he said, we need to have that discussion yet. So all of this seems to happen very quickly when the premier himself is still not 100 percent sure how long he's going to be the MLA for the region. We know mm -hmm. he's resigning as premier, but he doesn't seem to know himself how long he's even going to sit as an MLA in the legislature. I suspect not very long. Wayne Thibodeau, we appreciate your time. Thanks for joining us. Anytime, Jack.